Call of Duty has always done its best to feel realistic within the confines of its arcade shooter universe. Yes, some games are realistic more than others, but COD always tries to feel real to the player, and one of the most deliberate ways to do that is by using real world locations as part of the design. Now, throughout the years, COD has made multiplayer maps based on tons of actual locations, and while the quality of the map flow kind of differs, the attention to detail is pretty awesome. What's up, everybody? Chaos here. Today, we're going to be looking at COD maps that are based on real life locations. So you let me know how many of these places you've actually been to in real life, and we kick things off in Modern Warfare 3. Liberation. It was a DLC map in Modern Warfare 3. It was mainly known for having some pretty beautiful sights, but also for being a relatively easy map to get a Moab on. Something about this map layout made it really easy to take advantage of and go on long streaks with not a lot of consequence. If the map looks familiar, it's because it's based on Central Park in New York City, and they actually did a really good job recreating it. There's lots of little details, bits of architecture you can find in the real world park, and seeing all the leaves all yellow, orange, it, it helped capture the energy of this real world location. There's even an Easter egg, where if you go to one of the support beams, you can find the phrase, you mad bro, sketched into it. It's nothing like uh, some of the old memes in COD to make you feel very nostalgic. At number nine today, the Eagle's Nest in Vanguard. Now, this was one of the maps featured in the Vanguard beta. Many COD players consider it to be one of the best maps in the game once the full game came out. All things considered, it was a pretty solid map overall, but did you know it's actually based on the real world building in Germany? The main structure in Eagle's Nest is based on the uh, Kelstein Haas, hope I said that right, a mountaintop axis meeting site that was one of the main hubs for the regime members from 1938 to 1945 when it was captured by the Allied forces. Today, the Kelstein Haas is a tourist attraction, an occasional beer garden, and Sledgehammer did a really good job recreating it in Vanguard. Now, obviously, the inside of the house doesn't look exactly like the map's version of it, but the exterior it's pretty spot on. The developers, I think they deserve a lot of credit for this one. Before we move on to number eight, guys, if you get anything from gfuel.com, use code chaos up to 30% off. They are dropping stuff left and right, whether it's plushies, whether it's tubs, whether it's cans, it doesn't matter. If it's time to stock back up, the link is at the top of the description. And do me a favor, if you use the code, take a screenshot and hit me up on Twitter so I can show you some love as well. At number eight, block in COD 4. Now, Block wasn't entirely based on a real-world location. Bits and pieces of it are lifted almost perfectly from a rather infamous area of Chernobyl. Most COD 4 players remember this map as the really, really annoying one where you would constantly get sniped by people you couldn't see, but if you went to a certain corner of the map, you would find a recreation of a swimming pool from the campaign mission One Shot, One Kill. Now, this swimming pool is a recreation of a real-life abandoned pool that is commonly associated with the Chernobyl disaster. You can also see the famous Chernobyl Ferris wheel in one area of the map, although you can't actually interact with it. So, the map isn't a true recreation of a specific location, but it takes bits and pieces of Chernobyl and incorporates them very well into the environment and creates a pretty creepy battlefield to actually fight on. At number 7, Underground in Modern Warfare 3. Medium-sized map. One of the less popular ones, but most people don't think too negatively about it. In case you can't remember the name, it was a map that took place at a subway station, specifically the Broad Street Station in London, England. The station was pretty popular in the early 20th century. It was a big part of London's underground network, but it closed in 1986 after usage slowed down dramatically. Now, the Modern Warfare 3 version is obviously modernized. There's quite a few artistic liberties taken with the layout, but the visual design of the building, it's pretty clear it was meant to be a homage to the original Broad Street Station. I think the art team, I think they nailed it. Honestly, I think this is one of the more underrated maps in Modern Warfare 3. At number six, Egypt in COD World War II. Released as part of the War Machine map pack, it's a pretty solid map. It's actually one of my actually better favorite ones in COD World War II. Rather traditional three-lane map, but each lane had a distinct play style to it, and there was actually some sneaky routes you could use to zip in between them. Now, in terms of its real-world connection, the map is pretty obviously based on the Great Pyramid of Giza and its surrounding areas. Sledgehammer made this really cool decision to set the multiplayer map at the pyramid in the middle of a big World War II battle so the historical elements are all there, but with the addition of things like scaffolding, busted up vehicles for extra cover. I thought it was a pretty cool recreation of the famous pyramid, one of the more underrated maps in COD World War II. Now we get into the top five. Crown Raceway in Modern Warfare 2 2022. Now, this map from the latest Call of Duty game takes place in Southeast Asia at this fancy racetrack. But 
Did you know this map is based on the real world Marina Bay Street Circuit in Singapore? Famous racetrack, extremely popular thanks to the Singapore Grand Prix. And according to the Modern Warfare 2 game files, the map is actually referred to as Grand Prix instead of Crown Raceway. Now, obviously, the names had to be changed for the sake of licensing, but the design, the architecture, it's all undeniably influenced by the Singapore track. So some of you probably knew about this one already since it's such a recent addition to the COD franchise, but for those of you that didn't, now you know. At number four, Sideshow in Advanced Warfare. You probably remember this map as the one set at the Clown Motel, but did you know that Clown Motel is a real-world place you can actually go right now and stay at? It was released as part of the Havoc map pack for the Advanced Warfare game, and you're doing battle in the remnants of an abandoned clown-themed motel in Wyoming, but Sledgehammer took influence from the real-world Clown Motel located in Nevada. It is a real motel. It's been voted as America's scariest motel because of the disturbing theming, as well as the fact that it's walking distance from a huge cemetery. The real world clown motel is up. It's operating. If you want to go pay a visit, do it. But for the rest of us, we'll just boot up Advanced Warfare, play a match on Sideshow, and uh, be safe. That way, we don't have to actually go to the actual real world clown ghost place waiting to kill us in our sleep or anything like that. It's seriously pretty creepy. At number three, Alcatraz Island in Black Ops 4. This one should be pretty obvious, but Alcatraz Island is indeed based on the real world prison in California. Island prison, known for housing some of the most dangerous criminals in the world, it was added to Black Ops 4's blackout mode in April of 2019 as this frantic, fast-paced alternative to the launch map. Now, the map featured a few rule changes from the base version of Blackout, and a lot of players found it to be a superior experience overall. The map takes place... I mean, well, it actually doesn't take place. It takes a lot of creative liberties where all the buildings are in relation to one another, but in terms of capturing the architecture and the vibe of the real-world location, I think Treyarch nailed it. Now, I'm not sure if the real-world Alcatraz has a lot of zombies, but it's okay. At number two, Resistance in Modern Warfare 3. This is one of the most popular maps in the game, and it's been remade a handful of times. In fact, it was remade two years ago as Ember in Infinite Warfare and then Occupation in COD World War II. But the original map was popular thanks to the medium size and excellent game flow, complementing just about any play style and really showing off how fun and dynamic the gameplay of Modern Warfare 3 could be at the time. Ground War, Drop Zone, those matches got insane and the area was lifted pretty accurately from Place Dalada in Paris. That's right. The main downhill area of the map is almost a perfect one-to-one -one remake of the real world location while the rest of the map is made up slightly of altered buildings and courtyards from the surrounding area. This is one of the most... Well, it's one of the first high-profile real-world COD maps, and in terms of gameplay, I think it may be the best on this list. I don't know. It's not quite the most accurate, but it was close. But if you're going with the most accurate, not the best map, at number one today, it has to be Piccadilly in Modern Warfare 2019. Gets a lot of attention, got a lot of attention, but just because of how amazingly detailed it was, and they used it to show off how the game looked, but it didn't take long for the community to turn on it. I mean, it's terrible. It is. The gameplay's terrible. It's based on the real-world Piccadilly Circus in London's West End. And if you look at the map next to the picture of the real-world area, I, it's amazing. Infinity Ward spared no expense making this map as accurate to the real-world location as possible while making minor alterations for the sake of the gameplay. So I guess this is a case where realism ultimately took priority over making a fun map. Because almost every Modern Warfare player considers this to be one of the worst Infinity War maps of all time. But... You clicked on a list of maps based on real-world locations, not the best maps. I'll never say Piccadilly is a good map, but it is definitely the most true-to-life recreation in COD history. And for that, I think it's deserving of the number one spot today. There you have it, my friends. Let me know which map... I, let me know if you've been to any of these. That would be really cool. And you know what? I didn't do Hijacked, but it was a real-world location out in the middle of the ocean. Anyway... I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to stock up on your G Fuel, and I'll see you soon.